what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel we have a nice and beautiful question on the board that says 5 to the power of a plus 5 to the power of a is equal to 100 and we're told to look for the value of a now notice that the left hand side 5 to the power of a is common which means we can factor out 5 to the power of a and then open brackets so 5 to the power of a divided by 5 to the power of a is 1 plus 5 to the power of a divided by 5 to the power of a is 1 and this is equal to 100 and then simplifying further we have 5 to the power of a times 1 plus 1 is 2 and this is equal to 100. Now our next step will be for us to divide both sides by 2. So I'll divide the left hand side by 2. I'll divide the right hand side by 2. Now see that 2 cancels out, leaving behind 5 to the power of a on the left hand side to be equal to 100 divided by 2 is 50. Now since the exponent is unknown, our next step will be for us to take the log of both sides. So I'll take the log of 5 to the power of a. This is equal to, I'll also take the log of 50. Now let's apply the law of logarithm on the left hand side. The law of logarithm that says when I have the log of, let's say, x to the power of p, this can be expressed as p times log x now we'll apply this to what we have here that means this expression can be written as a times log 5 just like this and this is equal to log 50. now our next step will be for us to divide both sides by log 5 since we're looking for a so i'll divide the left hand side by log 5 I'll divide the right hand side by log 5. Now see that log 5 cancels out from the left, leaving behind a to be equal to log 50. 50 is same as 25 times 2. All over. Now the denominator, we have the log of 5. Now let's pay attention to the numerator. This expression is same as log a times b so this is the multiplication law of logarithm that says when we have an expression like this this can be expressed as the log of a plus the log of b that means we can write this in terms of this so we have a to be equal to this expression is same as log 25 plus log 2 just like this all over the denominator which is log 5. now our next step will be for us to split the fraction so we have a to be equal to now splitting the fraction we have log 25 all over the denominator which is log 5 plus we have log 2 all over the denominator, which is log 5. Now simplifying further, a becomes log 25 is same as 5 squared. All over the denominator, log 5 plus, now this we have log 2 all over log 5. Now our next step will be for us to apply the power law of logarithm which we have applied before on our previous slide so we have a to be equal to so this will be the exponent 2 times log 5 so log 5 all over the denominator log 5 and then plus log 2 all over log 5. now notice that log 5 can cancel out from here leaving behind a to be equal to 2 plus log 2 
all over log 5. Now, lastly, we're going to be applying the law of logarithm here, which is also known as the, the law of change of base, which says when I have, for example, log A all over log B, this can be written as log A base B. Now, let's express this like this. So, we have A to be equal to 2 plus... So this can be written as log 2 base 5. And this is our final answer. Now let's check. Now let's check. So on checking, we have 5 to the power of A. A we've got to be 2 plus log 2 base 5. Plus... We have 5 to the power of a, so 5 to the power of a, a is 2 plus log 2 base 5. And we're checking to see if we're going to be having 100. Now, here, we'll be applying the law of indices that says, when I have, for example, x to the power of m plus n, just as we have here, this can be expressed as x to the power of m times x to the power of n. Now, let's write this like this, and this like this. So, this becomes 5 to the power of 2 times 5 to the power of log 2 base 5. Plus, now this the same way, we have 5 to the power of 2 times 5 to the power of log 2 base 5. So we're checking if we're going to be seeing 100 as our result. Now 5 squared is 25 times. Now from the law of indices, if the base here and the base here are the same, the number here becomes the result. So we're going to be taking 2. So times 2 plus this will be 5 squared is 25 times now the same way base here and base here are the same so we take the number two so would this give us 100 as a result 25 times 2 is 50 plus 25 times 2 is 50. now i believe we can now see the answer that 50 plus 50 is 100 and this gives the right hand side which is equal to 100. so a equal to 2 plus log 2 base 5 is actually correct well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like i always say until next time take care